Survival is the ability to swim in strange water, Frank Herbert said. For us, this means the final day of lobster season, followed by the first day of lockdown. Carrie Ryan stated that survivors aren't always the toughest or strongest. Sometimes they're the smartest, but more than often, simply the luckiest. I know that you're curious, I know that you're strong, but life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go, we're better off tomorrow, but who knows, who knows, if we get joy or sorrow. March 31st and the last day that we are allowed to get lobster. So, lesson of the day. Take note. Make sure we don't get any females. Bear Grill said that survival can be summed up in three words. Never give up. And that's the heart of it. And these are done by tickling, not by shooting. Well, last lobster day of the season. I mean, 
need bread because we caught them all. <laughs> oh, yeah. The tail measures from back here. Um, yes. Yeah. Maybe there. That would make sense. Uh, today's cat's just making sure that they're big enough for uh, <laughs> this is this is our scale here for the tails and uh, it's looking like we were we were pretty good even this guy here he, he actually probably could take two of these actually for the tail that's five and a half inches by the way This lobster was molting. Like the baby picture that you take when you have a baby and you show the how small he is. You need to like do so you have the muscle. That's a tail. Okay, you can get another. <laughs> Use the lobster foot. Last day of the lobster season. <laughs> drink, drink, drink. All right, if you guys are squeamish, look away. If you're not, then this is how you process a lobster. So you want to start by twisting off the tail. You'll get most of the meat like this. And then you want to take the tail here. You're going to break off one of the antennas. And they have this little, uh, there. It's called a pooper. Everybody the knows pooper, it. The lobster pooper. <laughs> that you can get out by poking it right up the butt here. It'll pull it all the way out. Dump it in a little bit of salt water. Put it in the pot. There is some uh, extra meat actually in uh, a lot of the leg. And then you have the bottom of the antenna um, and it's full of meat. Look at the spikes of these things. That's a full pot. Cheers. Here's the last beer. Yep. Here you go. Cheers. So, last day of lobster season, we ended up coming out with five really good sized lobster. And they're actually too big and too much meat for us to cook it in the uh, in just one pot and one boat. So we ended up splitting it up between the uh, two of us. Therese is downstairs making what is it? Lobster fritters. And she's making lobster fritters with the ones yesterday. I'm gonna grill up the ones we have today, and we're gonna start saving them since we can't get any more. This one decided to start molting. It turns the meat a little bit pinkish color, still comes out the fine, still cooks fine on the grill. These are male lobster. You can't have any female lobster. So you want to save as many eggs as they can. So the way you tell is uh, um, the females will have actually two rows of these um, little flipper or feathers, whatever you want to call them. Um, and they also, up towards the middle of the body, have like a darker, almost black spot. Cook these two at a time. I'll get the other one here in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna make the batter. What do you got in the batter? We're down to our bare essentials, by the way. Flour, so. egg, water, uh, onion, maybe a cup and a half of lobster meat, and a little bit of chili, garlic, salt, pepper, a little paprika powder, and should be good to go. And what do you got over here? That's bread. That's rising. Oh, looking good. Looking good. Last batch is in. Lobster fritters. Here we come. And we've got our fritter sauce here. We're ready for dinner. Yes. Again. Lobster quesadillas. All right. So. And? We're doing lobster, lobster, lobster. Lobster fritters. Lobster salad. And lobster quesadillas And lobster quesadillas. Alex, you've done a good job in improvising on recipes. We'll see if it tastes good though. Okay, we've got too much lobster, so we've got to figure out different ways of cooking lobster. Yum. Right. Cheers to the last day of the yeah. lobster season, guys. We had drinks, we would cheers them, but yeah. we have no more drinks. Yeah. Yeah. Liquor stores are closed. That is right now is we're out of alcohol, 
that we have lobster for dinner every day in every way imaginable, and it's perfect. We are certainly lucky. But what happens when it all ends? And are we even able to provision? Will it really be fish and canned food for the unforeseeable future? Look at Frank. Frank's out. Frank's out the bag. Here we go. Hello. This is the. This is. Hello. The, hello. Frank. Frank's on the phone. Frank. Hello. <laughs> Whoa. Fred wants to say hi to Frank. Oh. Hi, Fred. Hey, yeah, Frank. How's it going? <laughs> what did you do to him? <laughs> Normal lobster, that's still pretty good sized lobster, and Frank. Well, peeling party almost over. This is all meat from uh, just the legs and the antennas. So, I guess this is why you should never throw those away. Party 2020. Lobster season over. March 31st. Uh, we are uh, just about to leave our secret, undisclosed lobster catching best place we've ever been so far in the Bahamas, uh, Black Key. And we're going to sail down to Georgetown and. Uh, Poor guys don't have a windlass and we're in like 20 knots of wind. It's pretty rough and they don't have a motor. Poor Corey, I heard him cussing over there. I think he uh, was about tired of that whole anchor pool situation. It wasn't coming too easy. Um, but yeah, we're about to leave. Hopefully we're gonna do a little bit of fishing. Basically all we need is water and then we're gonna provision as much as we can because we're not sure the next couple months and it seems like they're getting worse and worse with this whole virus situation but Therese is just tidying up everything I think come 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 they have their anchor up that's good yeah let's get cracking woohoo good job Corey so we'll see you guys out on the water Yet. Yeah, you can't ask for anything better. Nice sunshine, got rods out, both boats do. We're in a race here with this guy. The habits you created to survive will no longer serve you when it's time to thrive. Then you have to get out of survival mode, create new habits, and a new life, and get on with it. down there um, we have been doing a beam race the entire way doing nine knots um, it's been amazing so we just pulled in our mainsail we're running off of headsail doing a slow walk in here Charles Darwin put things a little differently he said it's not the strongest of the species that survive nor the most intelligent but the one most responsive to change and things are definitely about to change. So we just made it to uh, Georgetown here with our buddy boat right beside us. We just dropped anchor and uh, yeah, it's kind of like a ghost town here. There's actually nobody outside. Everybody's on their boat. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Apparently every boat here is like talking to each other and like 
trying to tell on anyone who moves over to another boat and hangs out. But they don't know that we don't practice it because we haven't been together for a long time. They're kind of dependent on them actually. <laughs> they have all our, all the meat. Oh, we're doing a little, um, we're doing a little coffee and game night. We are chancing to pick them up, so hopefully that will work. It's a short ride though. Ooh, and it's a storm coming. Survival is the essence of living. There are all these moments you think you won't make it, you won't survive. And those thoughts are pretty heavy, but then you do survive. Do you guys feel like we're at war too? <laughs> Welcome aboard! <laughs> oh yeah! I just wrote a grocery list uh, and tried to simulate the prices I thought it would be. So yeah, I'm gonna do a big grocery run tomorrow. <laughs> And hopefully find someone to steal alcohol from, that's my, that's my little mission. Uh, that would be really cool.